All right, guys, so I am here with the video, and today I want to talk about the whole Ellie Darby um, controversy. Right now, I'm watching the video, and um, what she's saying is true. She did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. I've done it in the past, and I've gotten free stuff from companies and free stuff from, you know, uh, brands and things like that and sponsorships. I still have sponsorships, and what it is is that in return, these companies get exposure for you putting out content, and that content reaches a certain demographic. For me, I reach, I, I do like reaction videos and maybe gaming videos, so of course, gaming companies and certain companies would touch on a demographic like I react to a lot of music of uh, concerts and things like that so I would get a sponsor like maybe SeatGeek or get a sponsor like from a record label or get a sponsor from a gaming company because I line up with that certain demographic and those will give me a lot of brand deals and I will make money from that just besides the ad revenue on my channel now what she was doing is what a lot of YouTube or bloggers or you know these type of influencers like youtubers do this all the time i've done it in the past now granted some hotels at that set have said no some have said yes and this is how i get free stuff if i want to travel to this place or get a free plane ticket i present with a you know an offer for free promotion i'll email that company and say hey can i get a free this and that so for exposure and they will either say yes or no and then that'd be the end of that what happened to Ellie Darby was a lot different, you know. Um, they just basically exposed her. Like they basically put out and um, and put out one of her emails. They tried to cross out her name, but they didn't do it that well. And basically, what happened was they put out the email, and she was asking for um, a a complimentary overnight stay. And that it kind of hurts to see that the business owner put her out like that because here you are messing up an opportunity there's no way in hell as a business owner that I would expose someone who could potentially bring you more customers her posting a video on her channel if five years from now that video just blew up or if that video blow up, blows up in a week dude you may see a bunch of people come there just because they saw an Ellie Darby video but you fucked it up now you know like because to be honest, in the future, you're going to see a lot more people making money off of social media. It's going mainstream. A lot of people are getting into it and a lot of people are learning it. I'm still learning it at 22,000 subscribers. It's a hard job. It's not like she's like entitled or she thinks that, oh, I should get something free. She's offering you a service in, in, to help your business. You know, it's not like you've got to evolve with the times, you know just talk this is just like with the Amazon go situation with the stores with the um, automated uh, checkout systems like like progress is moving no matter what and I feel like with social media and YouTube and vlogging and all this stuff content creators are not going anywhere these individual content creators who have built a, a place to, to look Oh, shit. Everything fell. Up. But it took forever to get it together. You know, like Jesus, like seriously, like guys. You gotta these people gotta grow up, you know. Um and it's crazy she brought up in her video that it was a lot of older people that were hating on her, and I believe that. I believe that because the old generation, I've seen it. Like people saying, oh, you'll never do this. You don't make money off that. They just can't believe. They just can't because, like, the older generation, especially if they're 35 and above, and like maybe even 40, 50 and above, in their head, they don't understand when you upload a video, people see their eyeballs, and when ad adverts run across it, we get a cut of the money we get a percentage of the cash and then also not counting the sponsorships or any other ways to monetize like merchandise and stuff and as we grow our channels it gets bigger and bigger I don't they don't understand that they don't get it okay they don't understand how social media works 
they won't get it. They probably never will, the older generation. Only people who are like in their 20s and younger in this generation will only understand. It's sad. Because they they never understand. Now, I just, it's sad because there's a lot of people who want to do it and they're, the older generation is probably telling them, oh, you got to go to college and be successful. You got to do this to be successful. You got to go to film school to do this. Look, guys, I didn't even know how to edit when I started. I started with an iPhone 4. I started with, um, like, I just started with an iPhone 4 and maybe some freaking, I don't know, like, I think I started with, like, books. And I sat a camera on top of it. You know, but I used my iPhone 4 to, like, do iMovie and shit like that. And I started on Vine. A lot of people don't know this. I did start on Vine. I had a few small following, like maybe I had like maybe nine thousand people on there. And then I transferred them to Instagram. And then I started growing a following on Instagram by doing shout outs and stuff like that. And then eventually, I was able to transition to YouTube, which is what I focus on more heavily than anything else. And it's brought me money. It's brought me so many opportunities like people don't get it and they don't like it they feel like we just sit on our ass and stuff like that but we actually put in a lot of work behind the scenes like writing down video ideas stuff like that like that's a lot to this shit like it's a lot to it yeah if you want to do it casually yeah you probably won't get anywhere with it you'll just be it just be a hobby but me when i took it seriously i went from 600 subs to like 20 what well, i'm at 20 something now 20 like but it's crazy because when i wasn't taking it seriously i was stuck at 600 you know and what i'm trying to say is if you really want to get out in this this world and get out in this you're gonna have to do business moves just like this girl is here so for people to get mad at ellie darby i feel like they're just hating just to be hating I feel like it's not necessary. I feel like they're beating the wrong course. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not a legitimate problem, you know? Um, these old... It's, she's right about that old generation, man. They, they don't like me. They don't like any of us at all. No one likes YouTubers. They don't like us. Dude. They never did. Only the people who enjoy YouTube and watch YouTube, viewers who watch YouTube on a regular, like YouTube. <laughs> young people. You know how they talk about us having young fan bases? <sighs> That's what they're talking about. Because that on, this generation grew up watching YouTube. That's why all this controversy is coming out about kids and, you know, kids uh, and the whole, I don't know, I forget. Some happened, a controversy where kids were watching like inappropriate videos on YouTube, which is rightfully so. They should take those videos down, but. Um, just to let you know, like even with the Logan Paul situation where he's filming a dead body, those are millions of little young kids, and those kids are gonna grow up and want to be a YouTuber. They're gonna grow up, and not everyone makes it. It's it's kind of like the TV industry and the movie industry, stuff like that. It's kind of like that industry, but um, in a way, it's gonna get to a point to where this industry is not even gonna be like that. It's gonna be to where anyone with a niche. Or with something that they really truly believe in if they work hard enough they can make it in this game I wish somebody told me you can do this you know and me you know sometimes I think to myself oh I can't do this but you can do this and you know it's not gonna do anything but make her more bigger than she already is someone give me a fucking controversy and drama okay get my views up because this is this is gonna make her more popular to, the guy who, who exposed her is so fucking dumb. Because she's not going to do nothing but get more exposure. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm just venting my... Um, I'm just talking and saying what I felt about the situation. I'm probably not going to edit this. Because sometimes there's it's not necessary. I just feel like I need to talk about this and just say what I feel just off the dope. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Peace.